And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate plans, tax plans, and uh, investment advice. So much that we can talk about today on today's show. We're going to talk about Airbnb, how you can utilize real estate, how you can buy through a self-directed IRA, and uh, just really take advantage of the climate that we're in right now. It's such a great time to be investing in the real estate space. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes, Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. Desi Fernandez, welcome back in. Thank you for having me. Team Hennessy. Yep, absolutely. Rocking and rolling in the mortgage space. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Good stuff. Staying busy. Our local mortgage expert. Support your local economy. Work with our local expert contributors. We'd love for you to support the team. And Scott Maurer at Vanta IRA. Welcome back in. Hey, good to be back, Brandon. Hopefully share. I'd love to talk about the Airbnb. That's a great way if you're looking to get in that industry. Your IRA, yeah. your old 401k can be the mechanism to get you there. Yeah, super cool. Leveraging technology with the old school fundamentals of real estate. It's just a win-win situation. We've got some really good success stories to talk about as well. So consumer ConsumerQB.com is our website. Check out our website, ConsumerQB.com. Now, that is your number one resource for all things uh, real estate, credit, finance. we got CPAs, financial advisors, attorneys, uh, several different types of legal experts that come onto our show and, and uh, help educate and entertain and uh, enlighten. Uh, we want you to save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. And we we would love to engage with you. So we've got our feel-good story of the week as well coming up. This is why I do the job, says a firefighter, cradles baby after car accident. And we're also going to talk about the top 10 highest paid athletes uh, as well. So according to Forbes, we've got that coming up. I want to give a shout out to our restaurant partner, Brio Tuscan Grill at the International Plaza. They've got a great uh, brunch going now on the weekends as well. you got to check them out for their brunch. Uh, really good stuff. And they have a, a special going on right now for all of our listeners and fans of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All you have to do is go into Brio Tuscan Grill and let them know that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And they're going to hook you up with a free appetizer and they've got some great apps over there spicy shrimp and eggplant beef carpaccio uh, they've got the uh, spinach and artichoke dip uh, let's see what else we got here we got the pizzas got the calamari some really good stuff over at brio go say hello let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on that offer and they are going to hook you up also, big event coming up. We got just uh, counting down the days here. Probably about fifteen or so days left uh, for our big event. We got Ken Shamrock, our business partner. Ken Shamrock, the former UFC champion, four-time heavyweight champion, and also WWF legend, uh, is our business partner on the Business Growth Celebrity Academy. But this event is about the kids. It's about the children in Tampa Bay. We're raising money to support the children in Tampa Bay, the youth, uh, utilizing the going through the uh, Ian Beckles Foundation. So the Ian Beckles Foundation. It's going to be the 21st, Thursday the 21st, 4.30 over at Red Door Number no. 5, which is a really cool venue in itself. And it's a, a lot of metal type uh, artwork in there, woodworking type stuff, a lot of ancient or uh, uh, artifacts there, you know, over there at the uh, Red Door Number no. 5. Uh, it's really cool. 1910 North Florida Avenue. You'll see some really cool art displayed at this uh, event as well. So it's a keynote speech by Ken Shamrock, 31st, uh, the 21st rather. Now, go on eventbrite.com and uh, just search up Key, uh, Ken Shamrock. You can see the tickets available there on eventbrite.com. Uh, 20 bucks gets you in. We got our catering partner, Amici's Catered Cuisine. Going to be doing a pasta station uh, for the first 100 guests that show up. And we also have a cash bar that is going to be sponsored by St. Petersburg Distillery. So they've got some really great uh, local uh, spirits here as well. So, all right, let's jump right into it. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm the host of the show. I'm also the owner of Platinum MVP Realty. We're looking for real estate agents right now. If you are a real estate agent, know of someone that's a good agent, that's a hustler, we want to talk to them. We need more agents. We've got a ton of leads. Uh, we've got people that we want to help get into home ownership, but we just need more help on the real estate side. Also got a hot listing here, uh, 103 
South Havana in South Tampa. Now, this is a prime uh, opportunity uh, for that potential real estate investment. It's in a great area. You're close proximity to everything. And you also have uh, five bedrooms to rent out. So we're talking about that Airbnb play. This is a prime example of that. We got lots of cash flow being generated through this property. And it's a charming South Tampa historic home. Uh, five bedrooms, three bath, over 2,450 square feet. That's listed just over $600,000. So check that out. And we also have another one here at 11370 Gulf Boulevard, unit number 401 in Clearwater Beach. Three bedroom, three bath condo, $1.175 million listing uh, of mine here at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com for all of our real estate listings. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about that. All right, let's jump right into it. You know, here we are halfway through the year. The market's booming. Everything's rocking and rolling. Uh, we got we are in a rising interest rate environment, so there's that poses some challenges to people that aren't uh, you know locking their rates and and those types of things, or maybe thinking, oh, I'm just going to wait a little while and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are you guys seeing over there? Um, we I don't like to talk rates because yeah. it, they 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 change daily. So uh, when I tell my clients, I ask them, I tell them the same thing: Where do you want to be? What payment do you want to be at? We can worry about that later. Let's yep. let's talk about payment. Let's talk about you know. And the insurance, the taxes, we'll talk about all that. Yeah. But as far as the rate's concerned, we're going to hold off on that until it gets closer. <laughs> yeah, because there's LTV, you know, what's the loan to value, how much down payment. Exactly. The collateral type, you know, will the actual home actually qualify for an FHA? It might mm -hmm. not. You know, it's a little bit more stringent. Right, absolutely. I've, I've different, different, you know, programs. VAs are, dif you know, different with the appraisals and all that to get approved as well. So as far as you know, it is a booming market right now, um, We've been extremely busy. We've been helping a lot of people, a lot of veterans get into homes. We've helped them refinance their homes right now, um, cash out. But as far as the, the rates are concerned, you know, it's it's difficult to talk about because they change. They fluctuate every yeah. day. Yeah, and the thing is, I guess the main point just overall without going into a specific on rate is that the rates are rising. It's, an end, it's a rising interest rate environment. Not mm -hmm. only that the assets themselves are rising the single family homes the duplexes triplexes quads almost every asset class is increasing uh in in value so now if you're waiting then you're you're going to be you know paying right. paying more for the property plus the cost of funds is going to cost you more well absolutely and i have a client it's funny you said arbnb i have a client right now in a sarasota a mutual client of ours who's going for a, a duplex mm -hmm. because he wants to use half of that to do he wants to live in half and use the other half to do the Airbnb genius it, idea it's perfect yeah and he's not the first one that's done it either yeah exactly I mean you can go in uh, you know for just think about the idea because a conventional loan or a VA residential I should say mm -hmm. is four units or less right so anything four units or less you can qualify for conventional FHA VA all those different types of loan products and that's going to help you uh, from a perspective of financing and mm -hmm. you know because when you get into the investment category the rates increase the down payments increase uh, so it's a great opportunity it's a great play right. uh, for people to get into that passive income and then also when we talk to Scott you're going to see some other advantages where if you buy it through an IRA, a self-directed IRA, you're going to have tax incentives, tax advantages as well. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, really helping you just overall build wealth. I think right. real estate is such a way to build wealth. It is. And, and not just that, it's, you know, it's a situation where he needs to downsize his family's kids are grown out of, out of the house, that kind of situation. So he wants to live closer to the beach himself with his wife. So nice. why not take advantage of it and, and make a little residual income? And I think that particular client, if I remember, he's got, uh, he's got some tastes that are pretty high standard and we're having a hard time getting them into yes. that particular home. Yeah. Yes. Cause he, he wants the beautiful, nice, everything, you know, but he only wants to pay this amount. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the challenge we're having on the uh, real estate side, trying to locate that asset for him. Yeah, exactly. So that's a challenge. I mean, it's people are looking for homes. They they have these. What do they say? Caviar taste, but they've got the you know the, mm -hmm. the beer budget. You know, yeah. so <laughs> so sometimes you have that situation where people want to be uh, into a home, and that's why it's important to partner up with a team. You know, a great team, a, a team of agents that are going to help you with PlatinumMVPRealty.com. You know, we help you there. Uh, team Hennessy. Uh, they're going to help you on the mortgage side and local is, is the way to go. I mean, you're working with right. local people here. Well, not just that you're working with the agents. They're very knowledgeable. You're working with us that have many years of knowledge under our belt as well. And we work really well together and we always right. stay in the loop. So that's, that's another bonus. That's right. Communication is key. And if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes. We're talking with Desiree Fernandez, uh, team Hennessy. So she's a local mortgage expert, got a great team over there. Also from her team. You've heard on our show, you've heard Jim, you've heard Julie, 
Bradley, you've heard Todd Hassey, you've heard Renee mm -hmm. as well. And, you know, they've got a great team and they work together. And that's mm -hmm. what I like about it is. And so they can come out to your home. They can sit down with you. They can meet you at their office. They can meet you at a Starbucks on the corner somewhere. Yep, we've done it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's just we want to be, you know, working to you what's what's easiest for you, you know. And uh, that's that's what we want to do. We want to help you with that. Uh, so we're, when we come back, I want to talk about the veterans a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I also really want to drive home on renters. I want to talk about renters out there. Uh, if they're renting, they're paying too much. It's about 30 to 40 percent higher than they can actually own for. Right. And I tell you, man, you're just throwing away a lot of money. And just think about if you just look back over the years, if you've been renting for five years or seven years, just add that up and think about all that money you've invested into someone else's asset paying down their equity, uh, paying down their mortgage and building up their equity rather. So it's it's really a strong play right now with the real estate space. A lot of good things happening here with Platinum MVP Realty, uh, the Real Estate Quarterback Show, all of our partners. And uh, we'd love for you to check out our website, consumerqb.com. Check out consumerqb.com and you'll see all of our expert contributors listed there as well. And I'm um, holding up the banner here. If you're watching our TV show, you can see all of our expert contributors listed here. And we've got folks that want to help you win we're going to help you win so when we come back we're going to talk about the top 10 highest paid athletes and also our feel good story of the week stay with us right here on the consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm giving a shout out to the Mary Maids. Relax, it's done. They are our official cleaning partner. Satisfaction is guaranteed by Mary Maids Cleaning Service. They do a great job cleaning our real estate properties, and we really appreciate it. We come home. The house is clean. It's smelling good, looking good. It's got you feeling good. Uh, Mary Maids, they're our official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. We'd love for you to reach out to them. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special incentives and offers. Uh, Mary Maids, our official cleaning partner. All right, we're back here in studio. We got Desiree Fernandez in the house, Team Hennessy. We're talking mortgages. We're talking real estate. Also, uh, coming up, we got Scott Maurer as well, Advanta IRA, self directed IRAs, uh, ways that you can really just utilize these financial instruments to. Uh, pay less in taxes, legally pay less in taxes, you know, and, and it's just a way that you can build wealth. And, and we're talking about building wealth today. We're talking about, uh, I was I was kind of mentioning to you, Rod, um, we had Rod on the show a couple of days ago. We were talking and, and we were talking about, first of all, it starts with the psychology of success, you know, because if you have these limiting beliefs and you're not able to, uh, you know, just see it first, you know, kind of kind of see it in the mind. And then put it on paper and then develop the plan and then work the plan. So, you know, I think it's such a key part of that. But so he's got that event coming up in January we're talking about. But Yeah, I, I would think, you know, especially when you think about what, what I do and with self-directed IRAs, if you're someone who envisions what you want to do as opposed to what people are telling you, this is all you can do. So if you have an IRA and you're going to your advisor and saying, well, here are your options and not really thinking beyond the scope of the, that advice. Like, what it, well, is are, am I really getting the full picture from him? Nope. Uh, or, or her, for that matter, and, and kind of what can I do? Yep. Uh, and it, like I said, envisioning that success of what I what I actually want to do. Good point. It's it's kind of like the, the the voices that you have in your life. You know, you got you got mom and dad, you got uncles, you got the financial advisor, so, you know, a supposed wealth advisor, right? That's that's probably not a fiduciary. They probably, uh, you know, they're probably pushing a certain brand of products that they get paid a certain amount of commission on. Kind of like the the lending industry was with the subprime lending. It was easier to do. Brokers got paid more, so they pump out these subprime loans, and it was what I call commission breath everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. you turn around, it's commission breath. It's like, wow, I get knocked down everywhere. So, but it's, it's a great point you bring up is that when you have these, these different voices or these different perspectives that you're listening to and you think, wow, that's, that's the, that's what it is. But really, if you don't have the wherewithal to search and research and go on YouTube or go on podcasts, there's all types of free resources. You know, we always talk about that, how many resources there are nowadays. So if you're a failure, if you're not making enough money, it's not that you don't have resources. It's that you're not resourceful enough. You're not, you know, utilizing those resources. So and and I and that's one of the areas I see a lot of people that are getting hurt in is they're trusting some of these these voices that maybe they should be a little bit more, uh, you know, hesitant to believe. Yeah, and I, I would even say, I mean, how many people pay? I mean, like obviously Rod has an event coming up, and there are a lot of local real estate investment gurus who do seminars. They put on seminars on a weekend for three five hundred bucks or whatnot. But how many people go and pay like thirty grand for mm -hmm. a real estate? Uh, investing education that yeah that's thirty thousand dollars right there when you could as you said there's so many free resources yeah you know free classes free seminars we do free seminars at our office uh you know but how much can you get on youtube or just go on the internet yeah and not pay anything and, and at least be more educated much more educated i mean maybe you have to go to some people for the experts to get the finer details yeah but at least to get the the ideas and the concepts is, is free yeah and 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 uh a lot of resources you can see you can find pdfs you can you can literally type in you know scripts for real estate you know you can find the scripts for calling there's so many ways you can do that uh and, and a lot of these guys like I, I even heard a commercial on the way over uh one of the actors that played superman is supposedly now a real estate investor and he's his team and he's doing the whole the whole pitch like you've heard thousands of times you know I was once on this TV show, and now I'm selling these thirty thousand dollars products. But the event's free. Come and have a, you know, free <laughs> cup of soup. I guess you know, with your with your seminar. But uh, but yeah. So the, and the easiest, you know, what they're going to do is they're going to teach you. Yeah, put out bandit signs, mail out to uh, you know all the different lists, the 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 uh, foreclosure list, the you know. So it's it's pretty common knowledge, basic stuff. But then they they overcharge these people for the idea. They're selling the dream, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wanted to ask Desi. So go back to Desi Fernandez here, Team uh, Hennessy, uh, veterans. You know, a, a large part of our, you know, man, everything. I when I think about things, I, especially the older I get, I'm thinking, man, we owe so much to these veterans. You Absolutely. Know? And, and our government gets a lot of things wrong, and there's a lot of squabbling and polarization. Democrats, Republicans, left, right. Uh, you know, the the thing that our government got right is this veteran loan program, 100% financing for veterans. Yep. 
they did they didn't it helps them out but here's the problem is that a lot of veterans they don't realize that they have this benefit available to them right so that's where my team takes it kind of above and beyond we do one step forward we go out and we we educate our veterans about yeah. an active military because a lot of them, like I said before, they're unaware that they have the benefits available to them and, and they don't know how to utilize it. Right. And you tell them we need your DE-214. Well, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have to explain everything to them, which is fine. We'd love doing that because we want to help them. But yeah. there needs to be something implemented where uh, they can, they have the resources available to them readily on on base mm -hmm. where they're not referred out to their local lender without any kind of assistance and that's that's what we're trying to implement here yeah i like that and you guys go actually on to mcdill mm -hmm. the we base do. the air force base we do and we're trying to get a little bit more involved to figure out a way to get the information actually on the base because they're they're always they're told go see your local lender and they'll help you out and then they it's a pain yeah. they're there they're there they need the information available make to it them easy right for them. exactly yeah you know, yeah these guys you know, exactly put it all on to... the line exactly so switching gears let's talk about renters i i, I think this is a big part that I'm, I'm so bullish on is that i think renters got to kind of get trapped in that mentality again going back to the mentality the psychology of success where does it start and i get it if you're doing a short-term thing you just move to the city you want to see do i want to be on the west side or the east side or whatever close to the beach close to downtown I get that aspect, but if you're if you're a long term renter and you're consistently renting, you're you're paying thirty to forty percent more in rent than you could actually qualify for a mortgage for. Oh, absolutely. I, there's people out there, and um, I had a client who she was paying a ridiculous amount for rent, and then we got her in, and her her mortgage was a third of the price wow. because. It, they just they don't realize yeah they just don't realize it until you actually sit down and run the figures with them and then you put it on paper and then right and then i think you know when you put it on paper and you say okay well that's that's uh let's say let's say five hundred dollars a month difference mm -hmm. you know and then you annualize that that's what six thousand dollars a year yeah you know then oh well i've been actually there for five years and you say okay well that's thirty thousand dollars of uh you know just and that's just the difference that's not even including the tax write-offs that's not including the uh, pay down of the debt Exactly. It's so, you could have you would have owned something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, well, let's ridiculous. do a call to action then, because I, I know a lot of our listeners are the folks that like to take action, and especially maybe it's not for you, maybe it's for a friend. Uh, just text the word rent and the amount of rent that you're paying uh, to our consumer advocate hotline. Text the word rent and the amount of rent that you're paying to eight one three six seven zero seven three seven two. That's our consumer advocate hotline. It's six seven zero seven three seven two. And if you text rent and the amount of rent that you're paying, uh, and then follow that up with your your email address, what we'll do is we'll put you in touch with Desi and her team, and we're going to make sure we get out to you what's called a rent versus zone. So text rent and the amount of rent to six seven zero R E Q B, and we're going to make sure we get that right back to you. And that's going to break it down for them, right? Absolutely, it'll break it down for them, and then they'll be surprised. Yeah. A lot of people are going to yeah. be surprised when they see the difference. Yeah, absolutely. So let's flip it then. Let's flip it over. I want to talk to Scott now, Scott with advance of uh, ira so now you, so we got a lot of renters out there the flip side of that is the investors yeah the flip side it, the good thing for a lot of our clients is, is the fact that there are a lot of rent, renters out there and, and as such rental rates are increasing so if you're if you're a real estate investor this is good news you, yeah you're, you're buying single family homes you're buying airbnbs you're buying condos uh, you're renting them out you're seeing your rents rise yes. uh, and if you're doing this outside of an ira you have a lot of tax write-offs other but you're also being taxed a lot on the income. Right. Um, what our clients are doing are, is using that IRA, that old 401k that they have sitting there, that they don't ever think about when it comes to real estate investing, using that to buy their next investment property. Right. Um, so you, your IRA can, 401k can just come in, buy the property, and then all of the income that that property generates, again, whether it's an Airbnb, whether it's a 12-month tenant, Mm -hmm. That's coming right back into your self-directed IRA, no tax consequence at all. Wow. That, so that's super cool. So you're able to take money that you've investing. And I, I think this happens too a lot of times. People, they, they work for an employer and, and you know the whole evolution of how we, we've taken away benefits from employees, that's a whole nother bunny trail I could go down. But you know nowadays you, you may have these uh, retirement plans where you're pulling money out of your paycheck, you're popping it into a, uh, what is it, a 401k? 401k, 403b, right? yeah. And, yep. then, and then the, the, the the employer may match some of that which that's awesome that's really cool they're matching some of your money uh, but so you're able to take that money and put it directly into a self-directed ira buy other assets you can and i think what happens is, you know i think practically speaking individuals they work for a company um 
or, or for the government for that matter, if you have a 403B, you accumulate all this money within that retirement plan and then you leave. Either you're, you're let go, whether right. you retire. And so then your focus and your brain is finding my next job and, and then actually getting involved in that job and getting started. And, you, and a lot of people then just lose sight of that bag of money that's sitting off to the sideline. It's just, you know, could right. be hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in their old 401k. Wow. That's just sitting there investing in whatever you left it in and not giving it a second thought. But if you're looking to buy that next investment property, uh, if you're somebody who does do real estate investment on the side, that is a bag of money that is yours to use. You don't need anyone's approval uh, to do it. You just simply need to move that money from that old plan into an IRA and then direct us to uh, what properties you want to purchase. I like that. Yeah, that's that's such a smart play because so many people just set it and forget it. You know, kind of like the, the TV commercial, the cooker guy, you know, set it in there and forget it. But he, they forget that a lot of their money is just is in is in things that have been set up 5, 10, 15 years ago, and the market's about to make a major move. There's a lot of changes going on in, in online uh, activities versus commercial-based. So there's a lot of changes happening. We want to make sure you're educated. ConsumerQB.com. Submit an email form there. We'd love to put you in touch with our partners. ConsumerQB.com. And you can see links directly to reach out to them. And when we come back, we're going to talk about this feel-good story. This is why I do the job, says Firefighter. He cradles baby after a car accident and we're going to talk about the top 10 highest paid athletes according to forbes stay with us consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com hey this is grant cardone and you're listening to consumer quarterback show hosted by my friend brandon rhymes do not touch that dial i'll come right through the radio and grab your throat to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. Consumer quarterback Brandon Rhymes online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 670 7372. 
Welcome back. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty, former USF football player, longtime player on our sports teams, quarterback on our sports teams. And now I am quarterbacking transactions to uh, for our sellers, our buyers, investors out there, quarterbacking introductions to all of our expert contributors, 80-plus show partners. Uh, we bring you the best to help you win no matter what you're facing out there. We'd love to engage with you. It's up to you to engage, 813-670-7372. That is our Consumer Advocate hotline Baby, 813-670-7372 and you can give us a call or check out the website consumerqb.com we've got desiree fernandez in the house representing team hennessy our local mortgage expert we have scott mauer as well representing advanta ira self-directed iras and uh, helping you win in any marketplace. That's our goal. I'm the owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent. And I've got a couple of hot ones here I want to let you know about. Uh, 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Pete. This one is almost completed. This is that pre-construction SIPS panel house uh, that I've been talking about for a while. $1.4 million. 3,752 square feet in Old Northeast section of St. Petersburg. Beautiful property just north of downtown St. Pete. And I got an airport for sale. It's an actual airport for sale up at 20151 Powerline Road at Dade City. Uh, this is uh, $250,000, uh, 10 acres. You got a single family home as well. A beautiful opportunity. Any pilots out there, uh, this is a great opportunity. They don't, they're don't. they not giving out licenses anymore for uh, airports. So this airport is grandfathered in and it's right there in Dade City. So if you're uh, the pilot and, and you have a family member as a pilot, I mean, what a great idea just to log, you know, get your log book out and start flying around and uh, land right in your own backyard. Pretty cool. Coming up, we got the top 10 highest paid athletes. And uh, we're also going to talk about our feel good story of the week. Got our event coming up the 21st. Check it out. It's on the eventbrite.com. Uh, you check out our event. We got Ken Shamrock coming back into town, benefiting the Ian Beckles Foundation, helping troubled youth and, and underprivileged children in Tampa Bay. 430 over at Red Door Number 5. A beautiful venue. Excellent food going to be catered by Amici's Catered Cuisine. And uh, we're real excited about this event. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, we're uh, Ken's coming back into town. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be on uh, the call to show. Mike called to show that morning as well. We're going to make the rounds, check out some of our partners, probably go over to Replenish IV, get another IV injection over there with uh, the beautiful the vitamins and uh, the Replenish IV solutions. And I just went to Temple Float as well over in uh, beautiful Palm Harbor. This is an awesome opportunity. If you haven't escaped the stresses of life with flotation therapy, it's really cool. It's many physical, mental benefits from being in a low gravity, total silent and pitch black environment. Increased blood circulation, immune system function, pain management, stress reduction, sleep schedule maintenance, increased creativity, reaction time. So many cool things with this. And you just float in this. Uh, this Basically, it's like uh, salt water. There's thousands of pounds of salt that's dissolved in the water. So it increases your buoyancy. And you just sit there and float and meditate and listen to music, whatever you want to do. So it's pretty cool. Temple Float, our friends over there. Say hello to Ron over at Temple Float. All right, we're back here in studio. Let's let's jump right back into it. So today we wanted to talk about Airbnb and the influence of that. You know, there, there's let's face it. You know, Apple, Facebook, uh, Alibaba. You know, the Amazon. These these companies. Uh, you know, the internet changed the game. Now it was like, who's going to be the, the the first place, right? So now you got all these companies I just mentioned. And then when you take it a step further into, you know, you got the, the, uh, for the vehicles, it's Lyft and Uber mm -hmm. for real estate. There's a few different apps, but you know, one of the best is, is this Airbnb. It's given people an opportunity to, you know, buy assets again, you know, through an IRA, you're going to have the advantages, tax advantages as well. Uh, buy an asset, rent it out. And, the, and it seems like the short term rentals pay more. You know, so people coming into town for a weekend, they want to catch the sports game, the lightning game. So they come into the town, they rent these assets out. Are you seeing people do that uh, with yours as well? I'm seeing people do that. I see them doing that close to McDill. Mm -hmm. it, the, you know, the people that are stationed here um, and they're not going to be here for very long. They'll find residents with an ARBNB or a VRBO and they'll stay there for a little bit. Or they'll have family come down and visit and they they want to be centrally located to McDill, but they want to have access to the beaches or yeah. fishing that's a perfect location for it and they, they utilize it all the time yeah we've heard i was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and he said man i see these i would go to the pool the community pool and i would see this couple there like all the time i'm like man do you guys not work do you never work and he's like man 
we've been doing this Airbnb thing for the last five years, and yeah, we don't work anymore. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they own a handful of properties. You know, maybe right. maybe five, six, eight properties, however many it is. And you have all this income. It's like, yeah, all we have to do is clean the house. Right. You know, clean it. And, he, and they buy the home warranty plan. Mm -hmm. And they got the home warranty covered. So now if something breaks, you just call up the warranty company. <laughs> so it's such a smart play. I mean, it is. Uh, that's why I love the real estate space. I love, I'm so bullish on that. So I, I wanted to talk to Scott here again. So, Scott, you've got an event coming up Friday the 15th. We do. It's a, it's a lunch seminar. It's free. It's at our office in Largo. Um, and we're going to talking about kind of there's a lot of different ways people invest in real estate with their IRA. They're either they buy, like we're talking about, you can buy an Airbnb and inside mm -hmm. your IRA account as a, as a rental property. Um, you can rehab properties inside your IRA, or on the flip side, you can provide financing to other people. So uh, individuals who have trouble qualifying for for traditional financing or maybe other f fellow real estate investors, your IRA can simply be the bank and hold the mortgage. So we're going to kind of in that in that class on Friday the fifteenth. Um, again, free. We, we buy lunch for everybody who comes. Just just give us a call to register. Uh, we're going to talk about kind of what's you know what what your strategy is. You know, yeah. Would you want, would you rather be a buyer with your IRA or, is, or for you is it better to be a lender and go over the the mm. advantages and disadvantages of both? Yeah, because if you got a lot of money sitting in there, you're you're not you're not making a whole lot of interest on it, especially if you're out not you know with a bank. You know the banks are paying what a quarter a point if you're lucky. Yeah, if you're, yeah. So, and and again, that's why. And again, you mentioned the real estate, the Airbnb. Again. What I like about when we do our classes and just meeting the people who choose to self-direct is that investing in real estate, there are so many different ways to do it. You could be a wholesaler, you could be a lender, you could want to find a tenant for 12 months, or you could say, hey, you know what, I want to get a little bit better return and buy that Airbnb uh, within my IRA. And so yeah. it's it's great when you come to these classes, you can call us uh, at 727-581-9853 to register for that. Again, it's free. Uh, it's just a matter of coming. You can meet other great people and get great education and get a lunch out of it too. Yeah, get your get your lunch out there. Now, let me ask you a question about this the through the self directed IRA. Is there an asset protection piece with that as well? Like, is it is it protected from creditors? It, it is uh, to an extent. I uh, know mm -hmm. it's it's a little bit complicated, but your IRA uh, is its own legal entity, mm -hmm. um, and under Florida law, if you are sued personally, they cannot touch your retirement account. Uh, for to, to satisfy any judgment, so your IRA has that's some exactly creditor right. protection for you personally. That's why, unfortunately, we see the uh, people who are getting trouble in other states. They run to Florida to protect their pensions, protect their IRA accounts. Wow. Um, however, if your IRA owns real estate and mm -hmm. there's a liability that arises from that property, then you do need to make sure you protect it because your mm -hmm. IRA can be sued in that instance. So if someone trips and falls on your rental property. They may be able to sue your IRA to recover. So oh. people use LLCs, they use trusts, they you know simply just buy insurance, you know, to protect their IRA. So it's kind of two different ways, uh, yeah. two different issues with the liability. It depends on really where that liability arises from. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. If you just joined us, I'm your host Brandon Rhymes. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host. We got Scott Maurer uh, in studio. Advanta IRA, self-directed IRAs. We got Desiree Fernandez, Team Hennessy, as well. The mortgage expert on the team here. So, uh, Desi, you know, back to the mortgage space. Uh, when, when we're looking at you know the the environment right now, we're looking at things happening. There's uh, what what is some of the number one confusion that you see in the marketplace? I mean, it could be down payment. It could be you know, how to structure FHA versus VA. Absolutely. Down payment know. is probably the, the biggest thing. People think that they they qualify for a house and they're set and they're good and they don't have to put anything down. And closing costs can all be wrapped into the loan no right. matter what. That right. is the biggest misconception of anything. So prepaids have to be, they're, they're in fact, paid outside of the loan. They're, they're paid at closing. Closing costs. They have mm -hmm. to pay the cost at closing to get into the actual loan. Right. Right. And you have to be able to show those finances. You can't just, right. it, it's not, let's shake hands and say you have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll give you the money. It's yeah, not they, like that. They're not going to take your word for it and do all this underwriting <laughs> no. and processing and working on the deal. Exactly. Now, there was an interesting uh, situation that came up, too, when we were talking about down payment and the lack thereof for some people. Mm -hmm. Especially, just think about a young couple. They just got married. Maybe they graduated college. They're having a hard time finding a job. They've got a lot of student loan debt. Uh, but it was an interesting story when we talked about where... What if you set up your own GoFundMe page and said, hey, instead of getting us a wedding present of whatever dishes and knives and, you know, whatever it might be, invest, help us build our financial future. 
and that's fine. We can source the income. That's pretty it. cool. We can right? source the money. Yeah. <laughs> so. And so, so a GoFundMe page. Sure. Set up a GoFundMe page. You know. So this is for our listeners right now. If you're if you're in that position, if you're new and you're you're starting out or, or whatever, maybe you you filed bankruptcy a couple of years ago and you're rebuilding. You know, set up a GoFundMe page and let your friends and family know that you're going to use this money to buy a house. A lot of times they'll put a little bit of money into your. Uh, your your investment uh, website there. As long as the lender can source, the, 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 we have to be able to source it. Right. So that's that's just the keeping it, keeping making sure it's not terrorist money, yeah. uh, or, or something like that. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's part of the Patriot Act. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We have to make sure. Yeah. All right. Well, when we come back, let's uh, let's talk about our feel good story of the week, and we also have we're going to talk about the top highest paid athletes as well. So we'll have some fun with that. We got the top ten here. We're going to have some fun with you here, wrapping up our show. Stay with us. Do not touch that dial. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rimes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rimes here. I'm your host of The Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. We're looking for real estate listings right now. There's a lack of inventory in the market. We would love to talk to you, offer you a free um, value check, a CMA, basically the same thing. You pay 500 bucks for an appraisal. We're going to give it to you for free. Compliments of Platinum MVP Realty. Let you know what the comps are doing uh, in your area. What are the comparables? What kind of activity are you seeing? Are there any short sales being flushed out? Are there any foreclosures? Your activities. We're going to let you know about that. And we want to give a shout out to Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. This is the first new hotel built on St. Pete Beach in decades. It's a beautiful uh, property here. And you've got a restaurant on site, the Castile Restaurant. You've got a there's a bar downstairs by the lobby bar. There's a bar uh, by the pool, uh, the hot tub. And then on the rooftop 360, one of my favorite places in all of Tampa Bay to visit is the rooftop 360. Gorgeous panoramic views of the Gulf of Mexico, the intercoastal waterway. If you look to the south, you see the famed Don Cesar Hotel as well. 
Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora, and beautiful St. Pete Beach. That's our official hotel partner. Now, all you have to do is give them a call. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you, and they're going to give you 20% off of your room stay. They're going to put a bottle of wine in your room, and they're going to hook you up with a charcuterie platter as well. So they take really good care of our listeners over there at the Hotel Zamora on St. Pete Beach. All right, we're back here in studio. We got Desiree Fernandez in the house, Team Hennessy, uh, mo local mortgage expert. Support your local economy here uh, in Tampa Bay. Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA as well uh, in the house. And I want to jump into our feel good story of the week. And we always want to tell you something positive. Tell me something good. All right, so this firefighter cradles a baby after a car accident, and he's in Chattanooga. Uh, firefighter cradling a baby involved in a car accident, touching the hearts across America. On Saturday, Captain Chris Blazek of the Chattanooga Fire Department in Tennessee responded to a car accident involving a pregnant woman who was driving with her three young children in the back seat. Uh, she wrote on Facebook after getting back to the hall from a house fire last Saturday in the Four Seas District. I was literally in the shower. Uh, engine number six was dispatched to a car incident on Highway 58. The incident included the driver, the pregnant mother, and her three small children who were in the back seat. The mother was hysterical because all she was having an abdominal and back pain. The children ranged in age from seven years to four months. Both big girls were fine, but the baby was screaming hysterically. So she took her out of the car seat, did a quick physical exam, make sure she was okay. She immediately laid her head on my shoulder. Shortly after that, I decided my guys had to, had a, uh, the scene under control. So I decided to sit and take a break with my new friend. So, <laughs> so the baby fell asleep in his arms. Feel good story of the week there. All right, let's jump into these top 10 highest paid athletes. All right, guys, let's start here. Ladies first, give me a, give me one of these top 10 highest paid athletes and i'll give you a hint it's all it's all males it's all dudes here on the list <laughs> uh stafford matthew stafford yes you got him he is the quarterback for the lions right mm -hmm. detroit lions matthew stafford coming in at number 10 on the list 59.5 million dollars <laughs> okay scott who you got um oh not as popular over here but the football players yes. the soccer players i'm gonna go with messi yeah lionel messi is actually number two on the list 111 million dollars wow highest paid top athletes i'm trying to see if this is their yearly uh if that's yearly or not all right so back to you desi drew Brees. drew Brees did not make the list but okay. matt ryan did as another quarterback he's number nine on the list okay quarterback matt ryan with the atlanta falcons that's another, another soccer player ronaldo cristiano ronaldo yeah yep, yep. cristiano ronaldo 108 million the biggest one still out there. The largest one's out there. McGregor? He, Conor McGregor? He, he's on there. Yes. He's number four. He's number four on the list. So the, the, the biggest one. one is still out there. So the number one now must you know be the guy is. he was fighting. That's right. <laughs> Mayweather. Mayweather. <laughs> the one that beat him, right? $285 million, More than double the number two guy. So Lionel yeah. Messi was $111 million. Floyd Mayweather Jr. made $285 million. Oh. So 285 And how much did McGregor make? McGregor... Made ninety nine, so almost three times. Combined, almost four hundred million between the two of them for basically one fight. For one fight, that's awesome. yeah. <laughs> which, which a lot of people say, you know, compare boxing to UFC, right? You know, mm -hmm. that's a real fight. You know, boxing, you got gloves on, you're not kicking, you're not ankle locking anybody. You know, when it comes to the fighting game. So, all right, so we had number five here was Neymar, who I I had never heard of, but some of, some of the folks in the studio did. Guess our, our number one paid uh, basketball player, guess Durant. Who? Durant is not, but he's. I know he's one of the best. LeBron. LeBron, eighty-five point five million, six number six on the list. But you, it's Tiger Woods on there. Tiger Woods is not. Give uh, me a okay. give me a popular tennis player who's number seven on the list. His name starts with an R. Oh, it's uh, Roger Federer. Roger Federer, seventy-seven point two million. Steph Curry at uh, number eight, seventy-six point nine million. So there's our top 10 highest paid athletes, in case you wanted to know. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds! I majored in lightning rounds. All right, so lightning round, we are, you know, give us your top tips, nuggets of advice, or just an overall 
top tips is shop around um use us for your knowledge uh, don't hesitate to ask or for our knowledge don't hesitate to ask us questions we will definitely help you we might not be the perfect fit for you but we will definitely help you in the situation whatever it may be that's right yeah shop local you know i would add to that shop local work with local teams you know and the, and the big difference between uh going into one of the big banks that took the bailout money that you know do bad loan mods for people that uh you know uh, they they don't have the extensive database, and they're not going to be able to shop around much like uh, you're going to be able to with Team Hennessy. You guys are a broker, so you're able to shop all of the different loan programs. We are, and, and but another thing is that we're you can come to us, we'll come to you. We're local. That's a big thing right there. Is a lot of people they'll they'll do the mortgages over the phone or online. Right. We're here. We're in front of you. We're available That's all right. the time, seven days a week. Yeah, yeah, and. and the, the people that are doing mortgages over the phone, you know, over the internet, they're could be working out of their garage. I mean, there's, there's so many scenarios where it's like, man, it could be a little bit shady there. Be careful with that. Right. All right. Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA. Yeah, top tip. I think educate, learn, yeah. or ed, I guess for the, you know, we educate, but you, you need to learn and find out what your other options are that are out there. Right. And, and piggybacking on, on uh, what Desi was just saying, the local aspect, if you're, you know, hearing it and saying, "Hey, I'd like to learn more about my get my IRA into real estate or using my old 401k." There, you know, it's it's a very niche industry what we do. So, you know, we're the only company here in, in the Tampa Bay area, but there are a lot of other companies outside of, um, you know, Florida. There's you know people in Ohio, there's in California, but coming and getting that personal touch, sitting down with either coming to our seminar where you can you can learn in person, or just sitting down one on one with myself, one of my colleagues, to learn about what your options are. When it comes to IRA accounts, what what else can I do? What are the rules involved if I want to buy that Airbnb? Uh, I want to buy, I want to rehab a house. What are my options? How does the process work? So much better to sit down with somebody in person. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. And really get that feel and get to know somebody that, you know, face to face rather than, yeah, calling an 800 number and asking how your loan application got processed yeah. or is it exactly. processed? And, okay, let me look at my records as opposed to calling that person and saying, is did this happen? Did my money come in? Is this been approved? And that person knowing you and being able to say yes or no right away. Yeah, relationship, building that relationship, you know, building up that trust between the advisor and and the you know the client, the student, if you will. You know, you're taking them through this process that's new to them, and it's something that you do every day. And I think too many professionals just kind of take that for granted. You know, the trust, the the you know, it's almost a fiduciary capacity that you have uh, when it comes to that. So let's let's do this then. So for anybody out there that wants to have a, a review of their retirement plan, you know, you're taking your hard earned money, you're putting it into something. Maybe it's a 401k, maybe it's a mutual fund. Uh, let, let's let Scott Mal and his team just take a look at what you're doing and just that way you have a second opinion you say hey you know you're going to be able to rest more comfortably at night knowing that someone's taken a look and they've reviewed your retirement plan so text the word review to 813-670-7372 if you want to have scott mauer advanta ira uh, ira his whole team just going to review your uh, portfolio find out what's in there find out you know how much fees you're paying are these fees being compounded uh, text review to 813-670-7372. And if you just text review to our number, we're going to put you in contact with him and his team. They're going to sit down. They're going to jump into that, look through, find out what the costs are, find out where your, your money's actually going. Is it going into gold? Is it going into mutual funds? Is it in some stock that's most likely going to take a hit when the mortgage or when the, the stock market resets? Because we still haven't reset, have we? No, we haven't. I mean, it's we've been... I think it little bounces here and there, but for the most part, being at 24, 25,000, the Dow is, unpre I mean, it's been a while. Wow. We've been sitting at that same level for a while. Yeah, we're setting records as far as stock markets, you know, unemployment's low, uh, things are looking good, but, you know, all good things must come to an end, right? It must come to an end. You need to protect yourself and know, know what your know what your risks are, at least. If, That's you know, right. Instead of just, as you said, set it and forget it earlier, you know, set yeah. it and forget it is great for cooking a turkey yeah. <laughs> or a chicken, Yeah. but for a retirement plan, no. You, you got to revisit be active. it. You got to revisit it. You know, you're, you're, you're waking up, you're, you know, you're, you're going through your routine. These are things that you just forget about. You know, you get busy, you do your daily chores. If you're a parent, you know, out there, you got the kids going to soccer, whatever they're doing. But uh, this is a big deal. This is your retirement. You know, most re most Americans don't retire with enough money. And most Americans don't even know how much money they need to retire and live comfortably uh, at the same uh, level of lifestyle. So I want to thank Desiree Fernandez, Team Hennessy. 
thank you very much for coming in and educating our listeners. Thank you for and having our us. viewers out there. Scott Maurer, Advanta IRA. Check him out. He's got that lunch on the 15th as well coming up. And uh, I want to thank all of our listeners, our viewers, our team behind the scenes putting the show together, helping us uh, do the show here. I want to remind you about our 21st event, the event on the 21st. Come out and check us out. And uh, we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Something as simple as packing up some leftover food, clothing you may have, carrying it with you to and from your commute, handing it to that person that you see in need, and be a force for good in the community. Do something kind for one another and uh, be a force for good. We'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you.